Ladies and gentlemen, we got some new Shopify updates hot off the press. This is the Shopify Summer 25 editions, and there's some pretty exciting stuff in here. I skimmed through it a little bit. First of all, this animation here is super cool. Uh, this is pretty addicting, but let's just go through it and see what Shopify updates are relevant to us. And of course, all of them are probably relevant to us because we use Shopify for a lot of things, but I'll kind of highlight the ones that are most important to me so that maybe it will, you know, enlighten you. So bring your vision to life with Horizon. So Horizon's actually the new themes that they just dropped. Shopify just dropped a whole new range of themes with pretty much shoppable or not shoppable, but you can create sections within it with AI, which is pretty insane. So this is one of them, for example, this is like a super minimal looking theme, potentially for fashion. Uh, but who knows for what, right? I've always said that I hope in the future Shopify is used for more than just physical products. Uh, I'm talking digital products, but even services, right? I think that vision will come to life eventually. Uh, but for now, we can see they're continuously adding new themes, which is super exciting. Now, you know, transparently, are these as good as the premium themes that you can buy out there? No, definitely not. Um, however, it's so good for th free themes like Shopify has done such a good job at making really solid free themes that you can build on top of, especially now again with you know, you being able to build on top of them. So one system 10 new themes. So this is the uh, okay, so this is the vessel theme looks pretty nice. This is the heritage theme. Also pretty nice. The saver theme. Okay, so this is more for maybe like restaurants who knows. Alright, so we got the all atelier one so yeah they got some really cool ones in here i'm not gonna lie um still big fan of you know the paid ones like shrine impact um, pipeline these are some great themes out there so yeah this is the cool thing about them though you can generate blocks so you can actually build custom theme blocks just say what you want and ai makes it so this is actually a massive massive update right here because basically this will allow you to create a paid theme within your free theme, right? Because you can just steal the blocks that you like from other paid themes, which I think is unbelievable. I've actually talked to people raising money for ideas like this and Shopify is just, you know, adding this in into their free stack, which is just insane to think about. It's super cool actually seeing Shopify genuinely take AI seriously. I know that, you know, Toby Ludke had this leak this email leak that he had a, you know, a few months back where he told Shopify employees that they needed to use AI, um, it wasn't optional. And now we're kind of seeing the fruits of that labor. So generate themes, yeah, again, you can kind of design your own theme with some of these features, which is pretty unbelievable. So a better editor, now you can actually basically create free blocks. Like I said, any block that you want, you can add swatches. Wow, that's actually super cool. So you can create your store however you want. And this actually goes pretty hand in hand with some of the themes that I've uh, been talking about on Twitter, which is that honestly, intelligence these days feels like it's just a commodity more and more. And taste is becoming a more precious attribute to have, right? So if you have good taste, now you can actually build what you want within your store as opposed to you know, before where if you didn't have the technical capabilities, you would have to hire someone, which is super expensive. So your abilities may be limited, right? Maybe you had great taste and ideas for your store, but you just couldn't make it happen. It's no longer the case. So this is another really cool one, Sidekick. Um, I've been using Sidekick myself and it's been pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Like it really does allow you to get a better understanding of the bottlenecks in your business, believe it or not. So you know, that's one of the cool th things about Sidekick is you can kind of chat with it while on your yeah. Shopify dashboard. I mean, obviously you probably use ChatGPT, maybe not, but if you don't, then definitely use it. Um, this is somewhat similar, except it's just directly embedded into your Shopify store. So you can ask it analytics questions. You can ask it, you know, anything you want, right? You can ask it about how to increase your average order value, all these interesting things. Um, and now it speaks multiple languages, which is pretty cool. Also image generators, that's also really cool. This is gonna be super helpful, especially for those of us that you know still launch some dropshipping stores. This will be extremely beneficial because that's one of the bottlenecks when it comes to dropshipping, right? Is uh, it's hard to get custom product images, but this will allow you to do that. Now retail, what is this? 
upgrade to version 10 to get faster navigation. Yeah. Okay, so this is faster navigation in the POS systems. Actually, I've been seeing more and more stores using POS systems, which is pretty cool. The other day I went to a, an olive oil store. It was really nice. I got some really nice extra virgin olive oil and they actually used a Shopify point of sale system um, and it was super smooth. So yeah, definitely making moves in that arena. And lately, for example, the other day we touched on a company called Touchland, right? We did a whole case study on them. They just sold for $880 million, which is a very impressive sum of money. And believe it or not, one of their biggest distribution channels is retail. So retail should not be undervalued any longer. I mean, actually, it used to be the traditional norm. And then, you know, direct to consumer became a big thing. And, you know, you can kind of feel these things coming in waves. Now it does feel like retail's making a big comeback, uh, although it never truly left, right? But, you know, just combining all these forces is extremely powerful. I really love the design of this uh, POS system. It looks super nice and now you can custom brand it. So this will be really cool, especially for like vibey stores. Um, store credit, okay, checkout, let's see. So what do we got for the checkout? Flat rates for split shipping. So charge a customer a single flat rate when fulfilling from multiple locations to reduce unexpected unexpected shipping costs. Okay. Oh yeah, this is another really crazy thing. So Shopify just created a virtual shopping experience integration with Roblox now. So I don't know if you've ever played Roblox. Um, I don't play Roblox, but I know Roblox is a massive, massive business. I know there's multiple people making millions of dollars through Roblox. But also, it's a publicly traded company, so it's something you can actually invest into, believe it or not. And yeah, Shopify is now a part of it. So it's pretty cool that now Shopify is getting a piece of the Roblox economy, right? So if you're a Shopify shareholder, this is actually great news, right? If you're a Roblox shareholder, you know, now consider buying some Shopify as well, because Shopify will be benefiting now from the growth of Roblox, which is super cool. Uh, I'm a big believer in Shopify, so I'm a shareholder myself, and I actually like to see these news. This is super cool. Uh, definitely looking to connect with more people in the Roblox space, right? Like, I, I would love to build more stuff uh, and get involved in a variety of, of Shopify-related things. So, um, let's see, what is this? Fresh update sent. What, what is this? Let me just click it. Oh, okay. So, this is for Shopify supply. So, <laughs> brand new supply things that's pretty cool so founder mode starter pack i like this hat i might i might get that here pretty soon um oh the keyboard that's nice so just some fresh merch shopify dev duck i might have to get this for my baby she loves these little rubber ducks um, mila that's her name and yeah she just loves ducks and she loves saying duck it's like her favorite word so i might have to get that actually enhanced fraud prevention love that that's definitely been kind of a big deal if you're targeting worldwide, uh, which is one of the big benefits of having a global supply chain from China. So if you can drop ship or just send your products from China, for example, uh, you can target worldwide. But one of the most annoying things about that is the fraud prevention. You get so many high risk orders. So that's really cool that they are actually integrating a better chargeback system. I love that. I think that's really brilliant. And they should have probably done that sooner. But it is what it is, right? Um, so new ways to offer Apple Pay. Offer Apple Pay as a payment method while supporting your custom checkout experience. Interesting. That is really clean, actually. That looks super nice. Okay, so global. Shopify payments in 16 more countries. We love to see that. So, wow, this is actually huge. So now available in Lithuania, Poland, Norway, Latvia, Hungary, Estonia, Malta, Croatia, Greece, Slovenia, Cyprus, Bulgaria, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Gibraltar and Mexico. Wait, this is actually huge. This is a big update because a lot of these countries have actually significant GDPs. For example, Norway, right? We recently did a case study on Nord's uh, organics. Uh, it was, yeah, Norse organics. These guys are doing incredible work on the direct to consumer, direct response marketing side of things on Meta. You can check out that video on your own time, but they're based out of Norway, right? So Norway has, even though they have a small population, they have a really high uh, GDP. And so do a lot of these other countries. So this is super exciting. Again, if you have a global supply chain, now you can you know, take advantage of a lot of these stores and you can do it from one centralized Shopify store, which I like. I think that's a really nice uh, thing to have. So super cool. I love to see that actually. So 
Okay, selling from multiple business entities. Easily sell from multiple business entities, both in person and online through a single store with Shopify payments. Okay, so this is exclusive to Plus, but this is actually really helpful, um, especially, you know, for someone like myself, right? I'm, I'm an investor, so I like to, uh, you know, have equity in a variety of stores out there. And it would be kind of nice, especially for the ones that we have majority equity in, to just have it, you know, be able to just centralize the dashboards, for example, uh, but have all of those entities be integrated into it. I don't think that's exactly what this is, but hey, maybe in the future that will be something they do. Pay out to multiple currencies, that's really nice. Um, okay, Apple Pay for subscriptions. Whoa, okay, that's actually really nice for subscription stores. Tariff guide to classify products. Okay, let's continue here. Marketing, so one discount for multiple savings. Create a single discount that can be a product cross products, orders and shipping with selected discount apps. Okay, that's kind of similar to what you can already do. Uh, cancel email campaign mid send. Okay, so this is for some of their own integrated apps like, you know, the Shopify email app. If you don't have a Shopify email set up, uh, you know, make sure you do that. But I would suggest using OmniSend. I think it's a better app. So knowledge base app for AI shopping. Interesting. So this is actually really i think this is going to become a bigger thing in the future especially as more people start using chat gpt and things of that nature um this is this could be really good and this is a free app it seems it's just you know a shopify app this is brand new so view shopify generated faqs based on your store settings and policies uh, and this i guess will guide the ai agents out there that are going to be shopping for people or providing shopping recommendations don't sleep on that feature, actually. I think that could be bigger and bigger as more LLMs start to become a household norm, right? Um, at least in my household, it is becoming a norm. Like, I use ChatGPT to talk about my business plans, uh, my life in general, you know, just general queries, and so does my girlfriend now. So I imagine in the future, once my baby gets older, right, she'll probably use it as well to learn, maybe as a one-on-one -on -one tutor, so this could be really big, actually. It's optimizing for those LLMs uh, in terms of shopping experience. So smarter recommendations and home feed. Okay, so customized, personalized recommendations. I like that. I think that's kind of the future uh, more and more, right? As people just get bombarded with more shopping options, just having more personalized options is always going to be a good thing. Uh, don't overthink some of these things, though, of course, right? Like, just remember the fundamentals. Um, these are all amazing features, but I just want to stop and take a second here to remind you, like, if you have not achieved any sort of success with Shopify or you're struggling, focus on making great ads. That's 50% of the race and focus on testing great products with proven demand behind them that people actually care about. Right. That's the other 50% of the race. So focus on those two things. That's really the main things you should focus on. All these things are cool features, uh, but it's not really the essentials. So shopper curated collections, online shopping syncs with shop. Okay, B2B, markets now available for B2B. So create multiple B2B markets, each with their own unique catalogs. Okay, so this is good for brands that are taking retail more seriously or wholesale more seriously, which you know more, country, more brands should do that. Um, there's no reason not to, especially with AI, you can reach a lot of retail locations and pitch them your products uh, and get some big inventory orders that way. Okay, some more stuff. Let's see. I'm just kind of going now towards the things that kind of interest me the most. Operations, refund to store credit. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. Um, that will be really helpful, especially for, you know, a lot of people use, unfortunately, you know, try to cheat you out of uh, giving them a, a refund. So I think this is always a really good option is to just give people store credit refunds. Uh, and now they're able to do that. That's actually so nice, such a simple thing, uh, but that can have such a meaningful impact. Tap to pay on mobile. Okay, streamline navigation. Cool, cool, cool. Import data from more platforms. Upload CSV to easily import your product customers and inventory from platforms. Okay, so that's for people migrating, uh, which is you know good, especially Amazon. That's, that's a big one, right? A lot of Amazon stores really neglect their Shopify stores for some reason. Uh, but anytime we've had, for example, in my agency, a Kemi clients that are doing very well on Amazon, it's almost guaranteed that they'll succeed on Shopify because of that. And what's really cool about that is that we can then really blow up their Shopify store and 
the second order consequence of that is that then their Amazon store blows up even more because you're now driving spillover traffic. That's what it's called. It's like a halo effect. So basically when you drive a ton of traffic to Shopify, let's say through meta ads, which is one of the best ways to do it, you then get so much spillover traffic, like at least 10 to 30% even um, that are going to search you up on Amazon because they want to see if you're on Amazon. They would like to shop on Amazon. Some people have Amazon credits, Amazon Prime, etc. So just by driving more traffic to Shopify through Meta or wherever, you're actually going to grow your Amazon listing. So pretty interesting stuff. Now, this is more for developers. If you're not a developer, this is probably irrelevant. Uh, it's you know, I, I'm not much of a de developer, although I have been learning more about development lately. Um, but yeah, this looks like gibberish to me. So storefront web components and Shopify commerce features into any site. Oh, wait, that's actually huge. Um, that's really big. Wait, this is actually super cool. So this gives me ideas, right? So uh, I'm always thinking of ways to integrate stuff. And I've always thought that blogs are kind of undervalued now because you know they were a big thing then they kind of fell off everyone just goes to social media uh, but I think blogs still can drive a lot of traffic and build like strong communities so this is really powerful actually if you can just embed Shopify collections into different blogs this could become a really interesting distribution channel for bigger stores you know one of the interesting things that I've noticed as I study more and more business and you know just in general bigger companies is they actually grow a lot through acquisitions so for example if you're a travel store right maybe it would be worthwhile to invest into just acquiring this travel blog let's say the blog makes like 500k a year boom you just added a brand new um, revenue channel for your business that's like completely independent of your store but then if you can integrate something like this right now you can integrate this storefront into the blog now it becomes like a supercharged distribution channel and revenue engine so these are the things i think about a lot which is strategy um, so you know if you want to consult with us in any way you can reach out at akemilab.com that's our agency we're mostly media buying like we do that for you but we're happy to consult with you like i'm always happy to consult with store owners although you know my time is limited so I have to charge for it uh, but yeah these are pretty cool things I mean I'm this is a cool addition I really like the design of it um, let's see growth so simplified build for Shopify design requirements okay so let's go to the drive this is the last thing uh, this is their little game that they came up with it's really cool actually so um, I got a really 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 fast time actually it wasn't that fast but let me show you what I got I'm not gonna play it right now because I don't want to waste your time but this is my time 1.48 seconds or no minutes um, I got gold I beat my friend here so you know oh this guy beat me dang that's that's not fun I gotta go again so yeah maybe I'll play this on stream for you guys but hopefully you enjoyed this editions I'm happy to see some of these updates uh, this edition is definitely exciting and I'm just very excited to see how Shopify will continue to take advantage of the AI revolution that's happening right now. Um, again, though, with these updates, this is all super cool and dandy. I love Shopify. I'm a big believer. I'm a big shareholder. Um, but just remember, right, don't get overwhelmed by all these things. Just focus on the basics. Focus on making great video ads for your product or, you know, just even organic ads, right? Even if you're not driving paid traffic. Just focus 50% on making great content and then 50% on testing great products for those for that content or and vice versa. Those are the two most important things. Okay, so focus on that and hopefully you enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.